This is the 31st video in our series looking at how to complete a basic setup and configuration of a Synology Network Attached Storage Device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. As a NAS is designed to be left permanently switched on, once we have fully set up and configured our Synology NAS, we really don't want to have to continually load this station manager in order to check its status. So by enabling notifications, we can configure our NAS to automatically send us an alert once a specific task has been completed or to notify us if our NAS has encountered some sort of problem. While these alerts can come in the form of either an email, an SMS message, or via a push notification, for this video we will only be looking at enabling email notifications. This is because, unlike other forms of notification, email notifications will not incur any additional cost or require the installation of supplementary software. If you intend to use either a Gmail, Yahoo or Outlook email account, then the only information that you will need will be the email address and password for that account. However, for any other type of email accounts, you will need to find the SMTP settings for the email account you intend to use. As SMTP, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is the part of our email account that will allow our NAS to send out an email notification, we need to ensure that we have the correct account information from a valid email account. So before we start, we need to have the following information from the email account that we intend to use. First, we need the email account's SMTP username and password. We will also need the email account's SMTP server address, along with the email account's SMTP port number. Finally, we need to determine if our email account uses an SSL connection. In order to configure email notifications, we first need to sign into this station manager using our administrator's credentials. Now from the DSM's desktop, if we select Control Panel, and then under the System section, Locate Notification, when we select Notification, we are presented with a panel which will give us three different communication services. Email, SMS, and push services. The advanced tab provides us with the controls that will allow us to determine which of the three communication services can send out a specific alert or notification. Let's return to the email panel and enable email notifications. Next, in recipient's email address, we need to type the email address that we wish to send any notifications to. As you can see, it is possible to send an email notification to two separate email accounts. In order to do this, we simply need to use a semicolon to separate the two email addresses. The subject prefix will help the email recipient to identify any email notifications sent by our NAS. So in this example, rather than use the IP address of our NAS, let's use something a little easier to identify. In Service Provider, you can see that when we select the drop-down arrow, a list of email services are displayed. If you intend to use a Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook or QQ account, when you select the Login button, a pop-up window will open to help with the configuration of your email account. If you experience any problems configuring your NAS using one of these accounts, you can manually configure notifications to use either a Gmail, Yahoo or Outlook account by selecting Custom SMTP Server. As the email address that we will be using for this demonstration does not appear in the drop-down menu, we will use the option Custom SMTP Server. In SMTP Server, we need to enter the SMTP address for our email account. In SMTP Port, we will use the default port number used by most SMTP services. However, if your email account uses a different port number, you will need to enter the SMTP port for your email account here. In most instances, you will find that you are required to provide some sort of authentication in order to allow your NAS to send an email notification via the email account you wish to use. 
as this is the case in our example, we will need to enable authentication required and type the username and password for the email account that we will be using. As most email accounts use SSL, we will need to leave the option Secure Connection is Required enabled. In the sender name field, we will simply type Synology NAS Administrator. Finally, in the sender email field, we can choose to either leave the field blank, which will then automatically use the address in the recipient's email address field, or we can use a secondary email address of our choosing. After selecting Apply, the Send a Test Email button will become active. If we have correctly configured email notifications, when we select Send a Test Email, a window will appear informing us that we have sent a test message. Now if we open our mailbox, you can see that we have indeed received an email from our Synology NAS. As you can see, the email message comes from Synology NAS Administrator. While the subject heading identifies this as being a Synology NAS test message. We are then congratulated on the successful setup of our email notifications. Let's return to Distation Manager and take a quick look at the Advanced tab. Within Advanced, you can see that we have four columns, Events, Email, SMS and Mobile. Under Events, we have a number of subheadings. If we select one of the chevrons next to a subheading, we are shown a list of the different notifications that can be sent. We can then choose to either enable or disable a specific notification and also choose how that notification will be sent. By default, as all of the notifications under the email column are ticked, this means that the recipient of our notifications could potentially receive emails that over time become annoying. So if this becomes the case, we can simply return to the advanced panel and we can remove any unnecessary or unwanted notifications. However, for now, let's simply close the control panel and properly test our new notification system. One of the main reasons why we decided to enable notifications is to get confirmation that our NAS has successfully completed its backups. So let's open Hyper Backup and manually run our on site backup task. Once Hyper Backup has completed its task, our NAS automatically sends out an email notification. Within the email notification, you can see that we have confirmation that our on-site backup task has been completed. We were also told where the backup was saved to, when the backup was made, and how long the backup took. If we return to Distation Manager, you can see that within Notification Center, we are still receiving notifications that Hyper Backup has completed a backup task. So to recap, in this video, we took a look at how to configure email notifications on our Synology NAS. For this example, we used the custom SMTP server settings so that we could see what settings need to be changed in order to enable email notification. Then after successfully testing that our NAS could send an email notification, we took a look at the sort of information that you can expect to receive from your email notifications. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at a number of security settings you should consider enabling before you make your NAS remotely accessible via the internet.